Hey speakers, it's Jermaine Sane of When We Speak TV, and tonight we are at a bounce special presentation of Zenona Clayton, A Life in Black and White. Well, every time there was problems with the movement, the thread to put the things back together, nobody knew it, but it was Zenona Clayton. She helped Dr. King, she helped Andrew, she stitched the whole thing together. And we both arrived at SCLC in 1961, and uh, we've been there ever since. And when SCLC slowed down, we moved on. She moved on to, to with Ted Turner, uh, and I moved on to the Congress. And I came back as mayor, and she had uh, um, this program going. I didn't know about Zernona. When I read about her and the history she's witnessed, not just the history she's lived and made, but the history she's witnessed, I was all in. And as I got to know her better, as I also got to know her through the people that we interviewed, uh, right. Ambassador Andrew Young and Martin Luther King III, and you know all of the folks that we talked with, Pamela Poitier, um, she became even more incredible. She's just an astonishing person, and I think that to see history and to hear about history through an intimate, an intimate personal story is amazing. So Nona uh, Clayton has done so many things in her life, and she's inspired so many people. Can you share with us how her journey has inspired you to be who you are today? You know, Zernona is such a beautiful person. She has a work ethic to be captured and copied. And so that is what she has done for me, is that you look at someone like Zernona and you look at how old she is or how young she is and you go, I want to be that. And the fact that she gets up every day and goes to work is what I want to be. You know, I want to get up every day and go to work with a... Uh, a feeling of exhilaration and commitment, and Zenona does that. I actually uh, worked with Zenona when she created the Trumpet Awards. Okay. I was her first catering manager at the Omni Hotel, and she used me for years, and then she got big time, and I had to be second in line. <laughs> but I've been with Zenona on a long journey since I moved to Atlanta in 1984. There's there's such a fantastic history in this country, like that's that's often not celebrated and not told, you know, civil rights and whatnot. So I'm learning so much just from being in Atlanta. I moved here a few years ago and I'm learning so much and I'm excited really because I've I've just heard peripherally about Zernona. So now like to be able to see this documentary, I'm uh, I'm, I'm excited to, to just learn more and, you know, her fantastic journey. Where will we be without Zernona Clayton, without Ambassador Andrew Young, without Pastor Raphael Warnock, Senator Warnock, where would we be? God has used them, their vessels, in a powerful way to incite and facilitate beautiful equality for all peoples in the earth. We are grateful to our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. I'm going to just be real. I mean, I don't have to blaze the trail today. So it's easier for me to travel in the direction that we need to go. Right. You know, you can get on a bumpy road, but you got a paved road. This would be no excuse for you to be able to move smoothly and more quickly to where we need to go. And today, it's like we need to hit the gas, man. And she blazed the trail, so we have the trail now, so we don't have to blaze it. It's right there. Follow it. Zoni and I uh, go way back. Uh, just go way back. I've been a friend of her, a close friend of her. Her and her husband, very close. And they have been inspiration to my life and me being where I am here today. Uh, I have been on, on every every time her birthday party. I've been here every one of her birthday party. I just have had a, a great time being with Zelona Clay. And like I was saying to everyone tonight, she is definitely exemplary of black excellence, you know? That, that is correct. That right. is correct. That is correct. And you see how the, the pause she carries and the, the mannerism ought to make every girl that want to be somebody look at her. And yeah. said, so this is what I can be. My association with her started with the Trumpet Awards years ago. And I was her go-to guy for all things hosting and comedy because she knew I was going to always be clean and wholesome. So anytime she called, she never paid me. <laughs> she never paid me. Never. <laughs> but you can't say no to her. Okay. I just came tonight to see if this documentary is going to let the world know how in the hell uh -huh. she looks that good all the time okay. like like what is she drinking or 
or smoking. I'm just. Okay. I need they'll to, pass some of it out to us tonight. I need to have it in my life. <laughs> I got. I had a dream that she went home one night, uh, took that bun off her head, and she turned old. Uh -huh. See, that's the key right there. I know, right? So get you a bun. <laughs> Get that bun to keep you young. Buns keep you young. Bun keep you young. Yeah, bun keep And for more information about myself and When We Speak TV, go to whenwespeaktv.com.